Hello everyone and welcome once again. In the last section we saw how to create a thing automatically on IoT and before that we also saw how to publish and subscribe to a particular device shadow whether it's a named shadow or a classic shadow and we were using AWS IoT device SDK for publishing and subscribing to particular device shadow. But in this video what we are going to do we are going to have a different approach for publishing and subscribing that is the much easier approach and we will not be using this AWS IoT device SDK Java because it is having one of the issue that I will show in some time and we will be using the same AWS Java SDK IoT 1.12.90 version for publishing and subscribing to a particular device shadow it will not be much complicated it will not be having more so much of configuration that we did in the aws iot device sdk so first of all see what's the issue with this aws iot device sdk then we will go on and use aws java sdk for publishing our messages to the device shadow okay so my application is started here i'm going to show the issue that uh, this particular jar is having so when we call this publish api that we created and send it so we get the response message published successfully all right and in the console also you will see that the message was published successfully now when you go ahead and again try to publish to the same topic once again click on the send button and you see the message is published successfully but in the console here if you come and see the message is published successfully here again for the second time but you see uh, logs that are coming here connection being retired and you get the exception sometime and you will be constantly seeing these in the logs it will be continuously giving you the error the connection is retired or temporarily lost or the client connection lost sensor all these errors you will be keep on getting the errors will update every seconds only and this is okay if you are doing it in the local but if you go in the production with this code and you keep on getting these messages again it will cost you a lot because these logs are saved somewhere in a disk right and at a particular amount of time your memory will be full if you are keep on sending these type of logs very frequently right so this problem has to be solved right so there is a easier way of solving it we will stop the application first of all and we are going to use aws java sdk iot and we will remove this dependency from here because we are not going to use the device sdk for publishing to any particular shadow okay so i will remove this now let me go to the mqtt config here and whatever the things we did in here we are going to remove all of that which is not necessary it's connect to iot is not needed again this publish is the method that will be needed but we will create a different method for this let me remove everything from here and let me start it afresh so uh, we will need a method in here let me write the method very quickly I have removed the unwanted dependencies and this is the car set uh, with the utf8 encoding okay so we have the uh, method publish to shadow wherein we have created one topic the same topic that we were using in the last publish and we have this topic definition in here now the payload we have to send in stringified version the same as we were sending using device sdk and here one thing will change here is the stringified payload will be sent in the form of byte buffer okay and here comes the sdk iot part we will use this publish request that you can see it is coming from aws service iot data model okay we are initializing the publish request then in the publish request we are setting the payload and this will accept a payload that is byte buffer that we defined in here 
then uh, in the publish request we are setting the topic where it has to be published and the topic is same as we created and the publish request dot set qos that is quality of service and we are keeping it as zero now here comes the iot client that is what credentials will be used for publishing our request to the topic so this iot client basically it uses the iot data client for publishing to the topic so if we see here in aws config we already created get iot client this will work for creating the thing but this won't work for uh, publishing the message to the subscriber so we need to define a client that is used to perform the operation uh, with the device shadows and let me write it for you so this is the one i am talking about this is aws iot data client let me import it and aws iot data client builder we are using here dot standard with credentials and here aws credentials so basically what i have done here is that we have defined a method in here that will uh, get the application config properties uh, that we have kept in application properties this we have kept in application properties and using this aws credentials we are just providing the aws secret key and access key id and we are using with reason and build nothing new in here you can pause the video and write your code you can also find this code in my website that i will be mentioning in the description section or you can just go to my website that is this technotabs.com and you can explore in spring boot projects it is not added yet but after completion of this tutorial i will be adding it here okay so i'm going to use this data client in my mqtt config let me auto bar some of the properties so i have auto wired this aws config in here and i also have to auto wire this app config so let me save it let me save this aws config as well and we will not use the logger here we will use system mode and we are done with publish to shadow we have to call this method from our controller where we used to publish so earlier our publish message was this one now we are going to directly call mqtt config and this is in our mqtt config right so let me remove this service and let me call mqtt config class in here and we do not need any argument so it throws a io exception let me organize the imports and let's see what all imports we have in here i will give a look here as well you can pause and have a look and i will also give a look in here imports all right now let's start our application and there is an error where it is okay so now we don't need this class because we are not using the device sdk let me go ahead and delete this class and we also don't need this class now we are done with it and let me go to start our service so you can see that the tomcat port is started at 8080 let me go to my postman and click on the publish message published successfully what you see in the console here message published successfully let me publish again so for the second time message published successfully and no matter how many times we are publishing it it will not generate any connection errors and it will be publishing to the iot every time the final thing is to check if it has really published the message on our iot core so let me go and check to my iot console
so we are on our iot console right now i will go to my iot core go to manage device things and we are publishing to the weather monitor let me check what is the topic i have published the message so the topic here is weather monitor local weather so device shadow let me go to local weather and in the and in the local weather you can see here the sensor value is updated as 3 in the reported state and that's what we are sending in our payload in the state the reported sensor value is 3.0 let me try to send it once again from our postman currently the version here is 11 let me send the message once again the message is published successfully and you see that the version is updated to 12 so every time we publish the message the version will be updated and that's the sign that our messages are getting published to this particular topic okay so this is how we publish to a topic using using aws java sdk iot all right so that's it for this session so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet i request you to please subscribe my channel that will give me lots of moral boost and i will be motivated to post videos like this thanks for watching see you in the next session